Well, she leaked classified information and put American lives at risk. But Chelsea Manning still doesn't think that she did anything wrong. Are you an American traitor? No, I'm not. And I believe that I did the best I could in my circumstances to make an ethical decision. Manning, a former private in the army turned traitor, making those comments as several groups at Harvard University are making a push to have her reinstated as a visiting fellow at the Harvard Kennedy School. Harvard decided to let Manning speak at the school, but will not be giving her a year-long uh, visiting fellowship. Kent Hefner is the president of the Harvard Republican Club, and he agrees with Harvard's decision, the dean of the Kennedy School, to revoke that visiting fellowship. Kent, thanks for being there. Um, for, first of all, as a, as a Republican at Harvard, uh, are, do things like this surprise you anymore? The fact that the Kennedy School made that invitation in the first place to someone who the rest of America views as a traitor. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, the things that we have endured at Harvard as conservatives have been uh, quite shocking at times, but I think that they ultimately ended up making the right decision. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a firm believer in free speech. I don't care if you're Chelsea Manning or Charles Murray, you have the right to speak at Harvard. But I think that when we're talking about who we're giving visiting fellowships to, I think we should be giving them to people who are public servants, who our students can look up to and say, these are people who served our country. And Chelsea Manning is someone who has been convicted of betraying our nation and giving intelligence that have put American lives at risk to our enemies. And that's not the kind of person that we should be going and saying, hey, this is someone who we should be elevating. Do you think, question Kent, do you think most of your classmates or your faculty, you can dis, uh, draw a distinction if you like, would agree with your position or do most people think that they should have uh, kept this visiting fellowship? Well, I think just from the vibes that I'm getting, most people wanted her to keep the fellowship. Uh, I think that a lot of folks uh, get emotional about this issue and for me, I'm just looking at it at a plain and simple issue of, you know, what does she do? What are her actions? And you know, how do those reflect on the type of people we should be having as fellows at the what Kennedy are, what, School? What are her actions while releasing videos of airstrikes? She released 251,000 diplomatic cables, 240,000 army reports from Iraq and Afghanistan through WikiLeaks, endangering the lives of troops serving in those war zones, as well as those representing them. There are some, some groups at Harvard who want to see her visiting fellowship reinstated. They put out a statement. Uh, that said this. They said, the withdrawal of Chelsea Manning's fellowship is a classic case of selective outrage. Chelsea Manning's critics are not actually concerned with the law or the safety of soldiers, but rather take issue with their exposure of unchecked military violence. Do you think these groups, groups which represent uh, the Harvard Anti-Islamophobia -Islam Network, the Pakistan Students Association, a lot of labor groups, queer, Harvard queer students and allies, do you think they're out of touch with, say, the way the rest of America views the actions of someone like former Private Bradley Manning? Well, I definitely agree that there is a Harvard bubble in a lot of ways. And I think on this issue, uh, there are channels for people to go and raise issues when there are abuses in our intelligence community that do not involve breaking the law. If you truly believe in the rule of law, if you feel that the law is being violated, it doesn't make it right for you then to go and violate the law. And I think that in many ways this is a bit of an example of people being out of touch with what the majority of Americans think, who see her as someone who's a convicted felon who's betrayed our country, mm -hmm. and that's what the courts have said. Absolutely. Kent Hefner, uh, a junior at Harvard and president of the Harvard Republican Club, also as a graduate of the Kennedy School at Harvard as well, I almost pulled my diploma out and would have shipped it back to them had they kept that visiting fellowship. It's, it's just offensive. <laughs> so, Kent, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.